Okay, so another interesting component of Bootstrap is the model section. So documentation components, we looked at carousel and now we're looking at the models. So models are basically pop-ups that when a user clicks an action button or trigger button, they pop up, so something like this. And you can put whatever information you want, text, images, forms, whatever, um, inside of it. Then you can, yeah, so there's an example of clear text. So, I don't know, should I show you guys an example? Okay, let's, let's implement a quick example. So I'm going to use the optional sizes piece of it. So this is the, a large model, and then this is a small model. So let's start with a small model. I'm going to go ahead and copy the CSS. Now, if you can see, there's the button which you click to trigger the model, and there's the HTML for the model itself. So I'm going to copy only the HTML for the model and paste it in my HTML carousel section. Let's come all the way to the bottom, but still within the body tag. And I'm going to say model section. Now, by default, the model is hidden. So it's not actually going to show up in your actual HTML document. So let me refresh and I'll show you. Yep, so it doesn't show up anywhere. Uh, unless the trigger button is clicked. And so let's go back to the trigger button. This is it. And you can see it has this data toggle thing and says model. Um, and it has a data tag it. So it just tells it which model and this triggers the uh, model element. So I can either add this button or I can simply copy this data toggle model option right here. The data toggle and the data tag it and add it to any button I have in my HTML document. So let's see what button we do. Let's add it to, let's say, the donate button so that, for example, if, uh, if you want to donate, it will just open a model and you can enter your credit card information, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now let's say data top model, okay. Now, no, it's not a class even. I'm just going to add these options and save. Okay, so let's see if this works. Oops, I definitely messed something up over here. What did I do? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Got it. So I'm going to add this, save it, and better. Okay, so that's our model. When I clicked it, it popped up. It doesn't have any text in it, so it's blank. So let's just go ahead and add something in it so that you can see it much better. So I'm going to add it into this div with a class model content. So let's say, hello world. And the model. Now let's see how that looks. And there you go. You have your content. Hello world. I'm the model over here.